good morning everyone welcome to eighth session of bonding and vulnerable complexes two lecture in the last class we have discussed the weak crystal field effect on effect on terms where we have discussed s term uh, effect crystal field effect on s term as well as p term and effect on d term was discussed in the last class and today we will going to have f terms crystal field effect on f term right so before starting the new topic f term effect of effect of crystal field effect of f term on f term just we will brief the i will brief the last session class coming to the weak crystal field effect on terms the terms are generated by generated from electronic configuration electronic configuration due to the interelectronic repulsion parameter due to the interelectronic repulsion perturbation the electronic configuration get destabilizes and participate in splitting generates terms and at this stage when the metal ion when the metal atom or ion when surrounded by multiple ligand sites where the weak crystal field or ligand field influences on these terms and there they get destabilized and the destabilized terms to overcome its destability destabilization it it will get in participation of splitting and generates new energy levels new energy levels and these newly energy levels maybe have mono degeneration doubly degenerated or triply degenerated the singly degenerated degenerated levels will be symboled with either a or b doubly degenerated levels will symboled with e symbol and triply degenerated levels will be symboled with capital t capital t and these a b e g e t symbols when they are generated by the octahedral crystal field they will be subscribed subscripted with g at bottom of these symbols right for these symbols if the crystal field effect is taking place on term to generate these symbols they will be uh, having subscription of g at the bottom and if the terms are influenced by the tetrahedral crystal field then the terms whatever generated the newly generated these energy levels will be have no subscription of g there will not be any subscription of g since the octahedral will have center of inversion symmetry the terms are subscribed at the bottom by g where tetrahedral will not present any inversion center symmetry so far it never be uh, the symbol never be uh, having the subscription of g at the bottom of the symbols and these symbols a b e are called as mullikan terms 
mullican terms they are named as mullican terms and when we go uh, innerly about the weak crystal field the weak crystal field weak crystal field will only affects on orbital multiplicity orbital multiplicity it never interacts it never interacts with spin multiplicity since the interaction of ligand is uh, affecting on terms uh, by the orbital multiplicity is affecting on orbital multiplicity of term and the spin multiplicity is never affecting the spin of the parent term will be carry carry forward till their newly generated energy levels the newly generated energy levels newly generated energy levels energy levels will carry same spin spin multiplicity of its parent term its parent term there is no effect of crystal field on spin multiplicity it affects on only orbital multiplicity of the term right and this effect we can compare to with the uh, weak crystal uh, crystal field effect on terms we can compare the crystal field effect on terms with crystal field effect on orbital and this crystal field effect on orbital we have learned in the uh, crystal field theory right uh, in crystal field theory it suggests that the ligands when they are surrounded surrounding a metal ion the metal valency orbitals and valency orbital electron density and ligand donating electron density will get in interaction and thus the in a crystal field theory the metal when surrounded by ligands multiple number of ligands thus ligands will interact with the valency electron density and thus valency electron density get interacted with the ligand donated electrons and will have repulsions between valency electrons and ligand donated electrons and this repulsion interactions will destabilize the complex and thus complex to exist its uh, molecular level it the repulsive interaction repulsive destabilizing factor will be get overcomes and to overcome that the valency orbitals will get in splitting will get in splitting that's how the crystal field effect take place on orbitals on orbitals and here the crystal field as it is affecting on valency orbitals the valency orbital uh, degeneracy will get lost there the orbital degeneracy degeneracy will be lost by the orbital the orbital degeneracy will be lost by the orbitals where the spin of the orbital 
the spin of the electrons never be disturbed only the degeneracy of the orbital will be lost if we thought that the d orbital valency orbital is d orbital when it is participating with them when it is gift affected by the crystal field uh, from the ligand uh, ligand effect there the d orbital having five degeneracy it is an d orbital is an five degenerated orbital state and thus five degenerated orbital with the effect of crystal field will get lose it the degeneracy and get split into two energy levels of octahedral when the crystal field octahedral crystal field get affecting or uh, tetrahedral crystal field get affecting on the um, d orbitals there the d orbital degeneracy of 5 gets split into two energy states and thus newly generated energy states will have triply degenerated and doubly degenerated where they are formed from the five degenerated d orbital five degenerated d orbital thus how the orbital degeneracy of d orbital get lost with the effect of crystal field same such the crystal field once it is affecting on terms also same such such splitting it can be observed into the terms right terms also get affected in similar with the orbitals right where once we observe the uh, in view of this particular pattern of splitting when we see the orbitals characters and terms characters where the terms will have same orbital angular momentum and orbital multiplicity 12 plus 1 with similar labeled orbitals right when we compare the orbitals and terms the orbital angular momentum and or um, sorry the orbital angular momentum of term and orbital multiplicity of term can be same similar with the similarly labeled orbitals for example if we see the s term in compare with s orbital the s term will have orbital angular momentum of 0 and s term spin multiplicity is or orbital multiplicity is 1 this is same similar as s orbital where s orbital having the orbital multiplicity of 0 and orbital multiplicity of s orbital also one so like that the terms orbital angular momentum and orbital multiplicity can be similar with the with respect of same labeled with respect of samely labeled orbitals if the term is s there when we compare with the s orbital there uh, orbital angular momentum and orbital multiplicity will be same where p term when it compare with the p orbital the p orbital p terms uh, orbital angular momentum and p term orbital multiplicity will be same similar as p orbital uh, orbital angular momentum and orbital multiplicity like that samely labeled orbitals and terms will have same orbital angular momentum and same uh, orbital multiplicity values and the affecting crystal field also same where here also it may affected by the tetrahedral or octahedral crystal fields and terms also get influenced by them tetrahedral octahedral crystal fields the affecting factor is same and where it is affecting also it same the affecting crystal field will uh, exploits the orbital multiplicity of terms as well as the uh, crystal field when it come to in affecting on orbital where the orbital also get affected on orbital multiplicity only so in the orbital level also the crystal field affecting on orbital multiplicity in the term level also the crystal field affecting on orbital multiplicity so far uh, in view of this all particulars we can say that how does the crystal field affecting the orbitals can be simply copied for the crystal field effect on terms how does the s orbital affected by the uh, crystal field similar effect it can be 
takes place on the gas term so far how effect how effectively the s orbital gets splitted get affected will be copied same similar for the gas term samely the p orbital how does it affected by the crystal field effect there same similar we can copy for the p term and like that for similar uh, crystal field effect on crystal field effect on uh, terms uh, uh, sorry crystal field effect on orbitals can be simply copied from the crystal field effect of orbitals right copied from the uh, orbitals right where if uh, now we are going to discussing the crystal field effect on terms now so far the terms effect can be simply copied from the uh, crystal field effect of samely labeled orbitals right that we going to uh, see that we going to take place in uh, crystal field effect on terms right so we have discussed the crystal field effect on each term the crystal field weak crystal field effect on each term in that first one is s yes term crystal field effect on s yes term where when we compare the s yes orbital angular momentum is zero and orbital velocity is one and thus when we see compare with the s yes term the s term orbital angular momentum is zero and orbital velocity is equal to one so far the s yes term affected by the crystal field will be carry forward is copied for the s yes term uh, effect uh, of crystal field right so here now we will see the s yes orbital uh, a crystal field effect on s yes orbital as we said that the spin sorry orbital velocity of s yes orbital equal to 1 the s yes orbital can be said as singly degenerated singly degenerated orbital or we can say non degenerated non degenerated orbital so s orbital having singly degenerated non degenerated is nothing but it has only one sub orbital it is not a group of sub orbital s orbital is never be group of sub orbital such as different uh, other orbitals such as p d e e p d f the p orbital is an three sub group sub orbital group d is an five sub orbital group f is an uh, seven sub orbital group where it come to an s orbital it is only one orbital group it never we have multiple sub orbitals in it so having only single orbital having only single orbital the effect of crystal field can be uniform onto the one single orbital right it can be uniform onto the thus single orbital so it cannot be get half splitting the single orbital cannot be split into half up so far uh, and uh, thus orbital also in spherical right so the ligand effect the crystal effect on thus spherical orbital will be uniform around the all orbital structure right so and thus is only single right it cannot be having multiple where one is getting more effective another getting less less affecting chance there is only chance that the crystal field affecting in uni uniformly it affecting on s yes, orbital so since s yes, orbital is singly degenerated state 
singly degenerated state that nothing but one orbital group one orbital group and has uniform crystal field effect on on it it just undergo undergo in excitation but not splits right it never be splits it just get excites its energy level with the effect of ligand field so there after getting the excitation the newly generated energy level will be termed as a1 in tetrahedral crystal field a1g in octahedral crystal field so this is what about the s orbital when it come to an s term s term is similar with s orbital therefore the s term also just excites its energy but never split never splits and newly generated energy level energy level symbol as a1 in tetrahedral crystal field a1g in octahedral crystal field octahedral crystal that's how the s term get influenced by the crystal field effect now coming to the effect of crystal field on p term p term the p term can be comparative with the p orbital the p orbital orbital angular momentum value is 1 and its orbital multiplicity will be equal to 3 right l is equal to 1 when once if we substitute in 2l plus 1 value it will become 2 into 1 plus 1 it will equal to 3 and thus with p term p term p term also having the orbital angular momentum of 1 and its orbital multiplicity equal to 3 orbital multiplicity equal to 3 so we can say that they are one and same the p orbital and p terms are one and same with respect of orbital angular momentum and orbital multiplicity so the crystal field effect on p orbital can be just copied to the p term p term right so now coming to the p orbital effect uh, affecting by the crystal field how does it is affecting by the crystal field if we observe as the p orbital is having three orbital multiplicity this can be said as triply degenerated triply degenerated orbital where it will be have px py pz three sub orbitals three sub orbitals and the structures if we observe they are all axial orbitals axial orbitals they are all axial orbitals so which nothing but their lobes 
the lobes of px py pz will be along the coordination axis so if we have the coordination axis like this x y z if this is an x this is an y this is an z then the lobes will be the px will have lobes along the two lobes along the x orbital sorry x axis the py has the two lobes along the y axis and the <coughs> py orbital has it lobes along the pz will have the lobes along the pz orbital and in the metal if we observe this all right and thus metal when it is an undergoing with octahedral crystal field octahedral crystal field the octahedral crystal field nothing but it will carry six uh, ligand set octahedral it having an six coordinated side so there will be six ligand sets right there will be six ligand sets and thus ligands will be one two three four five and six and six where this is an pz orbital px and py py where when we observe the octahedral crystal field in octahedral crystal field six ligands are occupying uh, uh, all the three coordination axes in each coordination axis the two ligand sets are occupied so where the each coordination axis having a two two ligand side are oriented into the lobes of the p orbitals lobes of the p orbitals so far what happens the electron density of ligand donated electrons and the uh, p orbitals electrons will get direct in interaction will be get in direct interaction so once they are getting in direct interaction there will be repulsive interaction it takes place from the p orbital to those ligands donated electrons right so here px and py and pz are getting influenced by the each two ligand side each two ligand sides so getting repulsive interaction they should to get excited they should to px py pz should to get excited and the excitation is getting variation or not is the question when once if we want to have the splitting pattern the excite the excitation has to be in different right some orbital should to have more excitation some should to be less or some should to be have excitation some should not to be have any excitation in this case only the splitting will be takes place right so here once we once looking into the px py pz all these three orbitals all these three suborbitals are getting influenced by the each two ligand side of four four electrons each orbital getting influenced by the same quantity of ligand same quantity of uh, electrons the repulsive interactions of all these three getting samely affected by the octahedral crystal field so having same effect crystal field effect on all these three px py pz orbital the uh, simply the group of all three px py pz get excites in uniformly and reaches to the higher energy level where it cannot be have any splitting because of there is no um, crystal field effect deviation from one orbital to other orbital all the orbital feeling same effect same qualitative same quantitative effect so far just the group of pm px py pz will get excites and reaches to the higher energy level and there will not be any splitting so therefore the px py pz will will in three group get 
excites get excited but not splitted but not split right so when we now discussing the p term uh, effect uh, p term uh, affected by the crystal field will be the same as p term has similarity in orbital angular momentum and orbital multiplicity multiplicity of multiplicity of p orbital the weak the crystal field effect on p orbital will just copied to the crystal field effect crystal field effect on p term that is p term just excited but never be split never be split and there after getting new energy levels in p orbital newly generated newly generated levels are t1 in tetrahedral crystal field t1g in octahedral crystal field crystal field therefore p term resultant new levels t1 in tetrahedral crystal field t1g in octahedral crystal field octahedral crystal field so that's how the p term effect now d term effect by the crystal field will be discussed d term crystal field effect on d term <coughs> as i said that the crystal field effect will be restricted till to the ground state energy level it cannot be most of the time it cannot be uh, exploited or uh, exploited till to the all the energy terms right all the terms of the electronic configuration for each electronic configuration there are multiple terms are generated right in thus multiple generated terms the crystal field effect never be effects on all the terms it just effect on to the ground state term most of the time it just just effect on to the ground state term and here uh, the d term can be observed can be observed as in ground state term in uh, four different electronic configurations we know that that is for the d1 d9 electronic configuration we have observed d2 as in ground state term ground state term and for uh, d4 and d6 electronic configuration we have observed 5d term as in ground state term 5d term as in ground state term so having in this all four electronic configurated metal complexes having d term 
we can adapt the d uh, crystal field effect of d damper all this uh, for electronic configurated metal complexes and here now comparative uh, impression from d orbital to d term the d orbital has orbital angular momentum value of 2 and its spin uh, sorry orbital angular sorry orbital multiplicity is 5 so far and when it comes to an d term d term it orbital angular momentum is 2 and orbital multiplicity is equal to 5 and where as the d term d orbital having 5 um, orbital multiplicity and we all know that it is an 5 suborbital uh, has a 5 suborbital degeneracy this will be said as 5 degenerated degenerated orbital it is the d orbital is 5 degenerated orbital it is and thus 5 degenerated orbital with the effect of crystal field get in splitting will get participate in splitting how does it get in splitting we know and we already said the explanation how does it get splits into different energies once if we see the splitting pattern 5 degenerated d orbital gets split into two energy levels gets into two energy levels in octahedral crystal field effect octahedral crystal field effect it will have t2g as an lower energy state triply degenerated energy state in lower energy doubly degenerated state in higher energy when it comes to an tetrahedral the triply degenerated state will be in higher energy and doubly degenerated state in lower energy lower energy right it is in tetrahedral crystal field right that's the variation we have we observed um, in d orbital crystal field effect d orbital crystal field effect where once if we observe the crystal field effect on d orbital in octahedral it has different pattern in tetrahedral it has different pattern when we compare these two patterns it's one to other inverse patterns right inverse patterns for octahedral to tetrahedral to octahedral that was we we can observe and same similar we can adapt for the d term also we can adapt for the d term also since having similarities in orbital angular momentums and orbital multiplicities we just adapt the splitting pattern of d orbital to the d term so here we can say that the 2d term of d1 electronic configuration will has exact similar splitting pattern of d orbital where lower energy state will be have triply degenerated and higher energy will have doubly degenerated in the octahedral crystal field octahedral crystal field once if we go further to adapt the d orbital d term splitting pattern for the other electronic configuration the d9 configurated 2d term is an whole inverse right as d9 is whole inverse for d1 electronic configuration the d2 term of the d9 electronic configuration get reverse splitting as reverse splitting where doubly degenerated state will be in lower energy triply degenerated state will be in higher energy triply degenerated state will be in higher energy right and from this to in comparative with them d1 con d9 configurated 2d orbital splitting the d9 configuration has one less one less electron with d10 electronic configuration 
so this less electron with the stable d9 configuration once if we compare to the d4 configuration it is also one less electron to the stable d5 electronic configuration so far the exact pattern of 2d of d9 can be adapted to the 5d term of d4 electronic configuration 5d term of d4 electronic configuration where the lower energy will be doubly degenerate state of 5 eg and the higher energy state will be triply degenerate 5 t2g where you can observe that the spin multiplicity is just carried from the mother term the newly generated uh, energy terms will carry same spin uh, multiplicity from the mother or parent term right since the crystal field never affects on the spin multiplicity it just carry forward from the parent term to newly generated terms right so like that and once if we go uh, comparative go for the d5 term of d6 electronic configuration it is whole inverse with the d4 configuration d d6 is whole inverse with d4 electronic configuration there it will be have exactly reverse splitting pattern to the 5d term of d4 electronic configuration where the lower energy state will be triply degenerate state where it will have 5 t2g in lower energy and doubly degenerate state in higher energy 5 eg will be in higher energy so with this all four diagrams uh, comparison we can have two statements where the first statement may be the d n and d phi minus n sorry phi plus n d n and d phi minus n will have same splitting same splitting pattern to each other each other but inverse to the splitting pattern of d5 minus n to d5 minus n and d10 minus n d5 minus n and d10 minus n they are nothing but d9 d5 minus 9 will have same splitting pattern and d5 minus n d10 minus n will have same splitting pattern but once if we observe the group of splitting pattern of this group to this group they will be inverse to one to other right dn and d5 5 plus n will be d1 and d5 plus uh, d5 plus 1 nothing but d6 right they will have similar splitting pattern with this similarity between these two the first line will be derived and the second line will be d5 n d10 minus n d5 minus n nothing but 5 minus 1 d10 minus n nothing but d10 minus 1 where these two similarity patterns is suggested here and when we compare this group of splitting pattern to this group of splitting pattern it just reverse from here to here reverse from here to here it is reverse so far the d n comma d5 plus n will have same splitting pattern each other but inverse to the splitting pattern of d5 minus n and d10 minus n right that is the one statement we can observe and the second statement we can give that from the d octahedral splitting pattern as we observed in d octahedral splitting pattern from the octahedral tetrahedral get just inverted its splitting pattern so same when these are all now we have observed in an octahedral crystal field so now if you want to write same terms splitting pattern tetrahedral what it become it, they will become just inverse so from 
ऑक्टाइडल क्रिस्टल फील्ड इफेक्ट टू इफेक्ट ऑन टर्म्स टू टेट्राहाइड्रल क्रिस्टल फील्ड इफेक्ट इफेक्ट विल बी जस्ट इनवर्स इट विल जस्ट इनवर्स राइट सिम दिस इज सिमिलर एस दिस इज सिंस डी आर बुटाल स्प्लिटिंग पैटर्न isn't it the dr bra splitting and impedance suggesting same right so as the dr bra splitting we have suggested the d term splitting pattern so dr dal is inverted inverting their uh, splitting pattern from octahedral to tetrahedral nothing but d terms also will be get inverted their splitting pattern from octahedral to tetrahedral right the two statement we can add here right so that how the All D R D L splitting pattern. So till this, it is about the last class. Now we will going to have the next new topic that is F term splitting pattern. Right, the crystal field effect on F term. Field effect on F term. Here, once we observe the uh, ground state term for the different electronic configuration, the D two electronic configuration and D eight electronic configuration will has four sorry three F as in ground state term and D three D seven electronic configurations will have four F as in ground state terms. and nothing but all these four configured electronic configured metal ions will have f as an ground state term as an ground state term so the f term uh, splitting pattern due to the crystal field effect can be adapted for all these four configured metal ions ground state term now observing the f orbital where f orbital having the orbital angular momentum value of 3 and its orbital multiplicity once if we observe it would be 7 and when we compare this orbital f orbital with f term f term the f term orbital angular momentum value of Three and orbital multiplicity of seven. Right. So the f orbital and f terms orbital angular momentum and orbital multiplicity is one and same. So far, the f orbital how does it is affected by the crystal field will be just adapted to the f term uh, crystal field effect. Crystal field effect on f term. Right. So coming to the f orbital splitting. Or f orbital uh, effect by by the crystal field, right? Where it as it is having seven subar seven uh, multiple sitting, it will have seven subar orbitals. The f orbital will have seven subar orbitals, and thus seven subar orbitals will have three groups. Will have three groups of uh, subar orbitals here. And thus will be three three orbital groups will be two and one single orbital group will be existing. And when we observe that the thus three groups once if you see the three group orbitals will be in axial position has the lobes in axial positions. So far this will be called as axial orbitals. the three orbitals will be having lobes along the axis coordination axis and thus said that the three orbital group has axial orbital and one orbital group 
will be in non axial will be in non axial orbital where the other three orbitals group it neither ax it is it is also an non axial group but it is slightly closer towards the slightly closer towards the close towards axis axis right where such three different groups of orbital existing in f orbital will have splitting pattern like this the seven group and two three four five six seven group f orbital as it is affecting affected by the crystal field or ligand field it gets three energy levels and where it has least energy level of a to g single orbital as it is deviating if this is a, in an octahedral crystal field as the three group of uh, axial orbitals are get influenced by the all six orbitals since octahedral has lobes along the coordination axis each two orbitals each two ligands are along the coordination axis where they will influence on to the axial orbitals so thus axial orbitals will reach to the highest energy level will reach to the higher highest energy level and thus highest energy level will be termed as t1g t1g and once if you go for non axial orbitals the one single non axial orbital is having totally away from the has lobes totally away from the coordination axis so as the single orbital um, orbital slopes are totally away from the co coordination axis it never be influenced by the ligand side ligand side never be affects on to thus orbital and thus single non axial orbital will be uh, stabilized right where once it is stabilized it will reach the lowest energy level right after that the three next three group of orbitals as they are slightly towards the axis they just slightly lowers their energy and reaches the next higher energy from the ground ground energy level and it will be t2g it will be t2g right so that's how the splitting it takes place right here to here the energy difference will be 6 dq and here to here the energy will be 2 dq and the excitation energy level will be 12 dq that's how it takes place minus 2 minus 6 right so such f orbital splitting pattern can observed can observed in octahedral crystal field right so thus uh, similar splitting pattern we can adopt for the f term since as it is carrying carrying similar orbital angular momentum value similar orbital multiplicity and crystal field affecting on orbital multiplicity so far uh, the similar pattern of f orbital can be taken place into the f term splitting pattern so now adapting f orbital splitting pattern for the first electronic configuration that is 3f electro uh, term of d2 electronic configuration where thus f3 of d2 electronic configuration will inverts the splitting pattern from the f orbital where it will be have higher energy level of a to g and low next lower energy level of t2g and lowest energy level of 
T1G it carry. It has inverse uh, splitting pattern from the D orbital splitting pattern. This is uh, taken as the experimental evidences. From the experimental evidences, from the experimental evidences, it is promoted to take the reverse splitting pattern of the F orbital to 3F. Uh, term of the D2 electronic configuration. So, getting this uh, pattern now ca can carry forward the next electronic configurations where the D8 electronic configuration is whole inverse, whole inverse with D2 configuration. So far, the splitting pattern of 3F term of D8 electronic configuration just gets inverse, just get inversed. So there the lowest energy level will be A2G and next five T2G energy level and highest energy level will be T1G energy level, T1G energy level. And from that to next as the D8 electronic configuration is 2 electron less then stable configuration of D10 and when this compare with the D3 electronic configuration which is 2 electron less than stable electronic configuration of D5 then these two uh, configured terms will have exactly same splitting pattern. So far the 4F term of D3 configuration will have similar splitting pattern with the F3, so 3F term of the D8 electronic configuration where lower energy state will be lower energy state will be 4A2G and next will be 4T2G and the highest energy will be 4T1G and writing the similar spin multiplicity from the parent to uh, produce newly energy states the 3F will have 3A2G, 3T2G, 3T1G and 3F of D8 will have 3T1G, 3T2G, 3A2G and getting third now ex extended to the fourth configured uh, term splitting pattern that is the D7 is whole inverse with D3 configuration. So far the splitting pattern of 4F term of D7 configuration will have exactly inverse with the 4F term of D3 electronic configuration. So the 4F term of D, D3 sorry D7 D7 will have exactly inverse to the 4F of D3 where lower energy state will be 4T2G sorry T1G 4T1G and highest energy level will be 4A2G and next higher energy level next lower energy level will be 4T2G 4T2G like that the splitting patterns four splitting patterns can be given for the four different electronic configurated F terms right so after all getting this four splitting pattern one can write two statements that is one as similar as D uh, after getting the D and uh, D term splitting pattern as we have the two statements that can simply adapt here also where similarities between 3D, 3F term of D2 electronic configuration, 4F term of D7 configuration. Once we observe, they are getting same similar splitting pattern. Uh, uh, except the spin multiplicity, the splitting pattern is same. And 3F of D8, 4F of D3 also having similar splitting patterns. We can say that Dn and D5 plus N. 
will have same splitting pattern each other but inverse to the inverse to the d 5 minus n and d 10 minus n d5 minus n d10 minus n where d5 minus 2 d10 minus 2 such as d8 d3 d5 minus n nothing but d3 d10 minus n nothing but d8 will have same similar patterns and dn such as d2 electronic configuration d5 minus sorry 5 plus n such as d7 having terms f terms having same similar patterns but the group of here to here will be inverse to each other and if you want to have this all four uh, splitting patterns are for the octahedral crystal field to have the tetrahedral crystal field they have to be just invert right from the octahedral to from octahedral crystal field term splitting to term splitting Term splitting tetrahedral crystal field term splitting will be reverse. Term splitting will be will be inverse. Will be inverse, right? So that's how the f arbitral f term splitting patterns can be observed, right? So here I stop the class. By the next, we will continue the next topic. In next topic, we will going to cover the uh, Orgel diagrams, where the Orgel diagrams just extension of these term splitting patterns. Right? It is concluding all the splitting patterns of D and F ground state terms in a three pictorial diagrams and extending some uh, effects on uh, splitting patterns will be seen into the Argyll diagrams so thus Argyll diagram splitting pattern can be seen in next class right thank you